Widow spiders. These beautiful spiders are among some of the most iconic and venomous spiders on Earth. And it may surprise you to know that they inhabit every continent on the planet except Antarctica. These arachnids possess a powerful and potent neurotoxin that they use to subdue and kill their prey. They're also capable of some pretty nasty bites, some of which I'm intimately familiar with. My name is Jack, and I dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe on the search for some of the planet's strangest and most dangerous animals. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about our most feared and misunderstood creatures. Today I'm headed deep into the heart of Eastern Australia on the hunt for the country's most feared and venomous widow spider, the Redback. These widows are among some of the most toxic widow species on earth and can deliver a wickedly nasty bite. I'll have to keep my wits about me and stay focused as I search for these spiders. They aren't the only dangerously venomous animal in these forests. Now, Australia is a verifiable land of spiders. And there's one in particular that we are on the hunt for today. And how I'm going to see these redback spiders is by checking all these little cracks and crevices of all these big boulders and cliff faces and things like that because these animals love to hole up in tiny little shelters where they can wait and ambush in their web for tiny unsuspecting insects. I've been seeing some wallaby droppings and things like that up on these rocks, which is a good sign because where there's poop, there's usually insects. And where there's insects, there's usually spiders. So I'm gonna turn on my, turn on my spider vision eyes. I'm going to search and scour the land for the spider we're after today. So I'm going to get searching and we'll see what we scrounge up. The redback, like most widow spiders, webs up in small tight crevices where it makes messy strong webs in which it hunts. These animals will prey on anything small enough to trap, including insects, other arachnids, and even small reptiles like lizards and snakes. They use their potent concoction of venom to kill anything that could be a potential meal and have even been recorded eating some of the most venomous snakes in Australia, like baby eastern brown snakes. Now that's an impressive feat. I saw a little bit of web here. Doesn't look to be widow web, but this is kind of where I'm checking in here, folks, is all these kind of little crevasses. Um, these widow spiders, they don't really like to get wet. In fact, the egg sacs of these spiders, should they get wet, it'll actually kill all the eggs. So any kind of pockets or areas where things kind of stay dry out of the climates, out of the, out of the sun, out of the wind, out of the rain, that's where a lot of these widow spiders are going to strategically set up their webs. Because that's not a bad place to be. Shelter is pivotal, not just for human beings, but for plenty of other animals as well. So to build your web in a good spot is critical for these spiders. Having myself found quite a few species of widow spiders across the globe, these redbacks remain some of my favorites. Their striking contrast I find to be wildly beautiful. Many people don't take the time to look closely and appreciate the beauty of spiders. Even if they scare you or creep you out, it's hard to deny many of these widow spiders are unbelievably beautiful. When we can see the beauty in unexpected places, we can foster an appreciation we maybe didn't even know was there. Approach the world with an open mind and you'll find it's a much more beautiful place than you thought. There's one last uh, little bit of cliff face here before I guess we're going to give up. Um, so please wish us the best luck, folks. Hopefully uh, hopefully we can not only just scrounge up a redback, but hopefully one that's large enough and nice enough to film. So uh, I'm going to get poking around and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get one. After hours and hours of fruitless searching, we were beginning to lose all hope. We had not seen hide nor hair 
of these venomous widow spiders. And literally, friends, we were minutes away from calling it a day and heading back in. In a last-ditch effort, I decided to check this other little rock face, and underneath a rock, I spotted something I had been hoping all day to see. Oh, I think, I, I think I've got her. <laughs> uh, got her out with a bit of web here. Take a look right there, folks. This, this is the beautiful Australian redback spider. Whew. Let me get a container here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bloop. Oh, perfect. She was just making this tiny little web underneath this rock I'm sitting on right now. But have a go at that, folks. Look at that. That is the iconic, the beautiful Australian widow we were after today. This looks to be a nice adult female. I didn't see an egg sac in there, but uh, there's a chance that uh, the fe a female this large could be mated, could be impregnated, and she could be full of more delectable widow spider eggs. But these are always some of my favorite spiders to encounter here in the beautiful land of Australia. These are easily Australia's deadliest widow spider um, as they only have one native species, the beautiful redback. Um, but now with invasive species such as the brown widow moving in, this one still reigns supreme as the most venomous widow spider in all of Australia. And Australia being a land of wonderfully venomous animals, this lovely creature is more than at home and all these sort of rocky outcroppings. As you can see, there's plenty of flies around because there are lots of like wallabies and kangaroos and things that come up onto these rocks and just lay some huge kangaroo and wallaby turds. And that attracts, of course, the flies and that attracts, of course, all these spiders. You can see there's a completely different species of spider web up here. There's heaps and heaps and heaps of spiders, um, but this was the one we were after today. And what a beautiful spider it is. If bitten, the effects of the redback spider's bite are quite extreme. Although unlikely to kill you, this spider's venom perforates every aspect of the nervous system, radiating pain throughout your entire body. Fevers, chills, headaches, soreness, and even nausea may accompany the spreading pain as well. All in all, you'd be wise to seek immediate medical attention for pain management should you be bitten, as while it's most likely survivable without treatment, it's not a fun ride. Take it from someone who has made it through a black widow bite unmedicated, you're going to want to head to the ER. This powerful neurotoxic venom, when it interacts with a mammalian body, much like a human's body, it goes in and latches on to the nervous system, latches on to the pain receptors in the body, flashing immense and uh, sometimes unbearable amounts of pain into the bite E, if you will. Now, this animal's venom is so unbelievably potent, drop for drop, this animal is more venomous than many of the snakes out here, and that's because they only inject a tiny little bit of venom with each bite. And what that means is when you are bitten by one of these spiders, that venom just courses through your whole body and it's so incredibly potent in small amounts that it can wreak havoc. You can have all sorts of fevers, sweats, nausea, vomiting. I mean, it is just a horrible, horrible time, folks. And these spiders definitely command respect because of that bite. This is no joke, folks. These are dangerously venomous spiders, and although you are unlikely to die if you are bitten by one of these spiders, you might wish that the sweet release of death was right around the corner. A bite is so unbearably painful from these venomous widows. Australia is filled to the brim with a plethora of unique and venomous spiders. If you'd like to learn about more of them, check out this video about one of the most venomous arachnids on the entire continent. 
I finally caught a fearsome Sydney from the web spider, and we get up close and personal to uncover the mysteries that surround this formidable creature. Link is in the description below. Well, my friends, I think we had a fantastic time with our lovely Redback Widow here. These are easily one of the coolest and most iconic arachnids you can encounter here in Australia. And this was one of my top invertebrate targets that I wanted to find for all you beautiful people back at home. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll kiss our lovely spider goodbye. And we'll let her get right back under her little rock here. Ugh. Where we found her in first place. Oh, wrong way, pal. Wrong way. Turn around, turn around, turn around. And there she goes, right back into the safe crevice from whence she came. Although seriously venomous, these spiders want nothing to do with us at all. They are actually quite skittish as well and are extremely fast to flee or retreat deep into their webs at the first sign of danger. These creatures don't mean us any harm and as long as we give them space, they're happy to avoid us. Well, all right, folks. I hope that you enjoyed getting to take a close look at Australia's most venomous and iconic widow spider, the redback spider. These are such amazingly cool and beautiful spiders, and although they are dangerously venomous, they are not really a danger to humans. As long as you stay away from them, as long as you don't pin or pinch them to your skin, as long as you don't quite literally force them to bite you, you are really in absolutely no real danger. So just be sure to respect our lovely arachnid friends and our lovely venomous creatures on this planet, and you should be all good. So thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you learned something, and I hope to see you again next week with the next upload. But until then, my friends, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.